Hello again, everyone, and welcome to the February 2024 Sky Report. My name is Vanessa, and I will be your Sky Guide again this month. Let's get started. Mercury, Venus, and Mars will be close together in the sky in the southeast right before sunrise early in the morning on February 7th. The moon is a waning crescent and can be seen below the handle of the teapot asterism in Sagittarius. They're not close enough to see them together in a telescope, but make an interesting sight for naked eye observation. You'll need to have a clear horizon in the southeast to see it and wake up early to catch the sight. High in the sky in the evening all month are these major constellations. Orion, Canis Major, Taurus, Lepus, Canis Minor, Gemini, Leo, and Cancer. The rest of the constellations you'll have to go to a dark sky to see. The winter hexagon remains high in the sky for the month, but more towards the west than it was last month. Seen here are the five bright stars that make up the hexagon. Pollux, Capella, Aldebaran, Rigel, Sirius, and Procyon. Rising in the eastern side of the sky, we have the bright constellations Virgo and Bootes. Ursa Major and the Big Dipper asterism within it are climbing up higher in the sky as we approach spring. This month, Jupiter will now set relatively early in the night, dipping low on our western horizon at 11 p.m., if you watch Jupiter with a telescope, make sure you get a view of it early on in the night. Saturn now sets very early, sitting just above the horizon at 6 p.m., so in order to see it, you'll need to go out right after sunset. Telescopic images will not be ideal and may feature a great deal of turbulence, so for us telescope observers, we'll see you again in the early morning in a few months, Saturn. On February 22nd at 6 a.m., Mars and Venus will be about 7.5 degrees above the horizon at a little more than half a degree apart, which is about the size of the full moon in the sky. Venus will be fairly easy to find, but Mars may be washed out and too dim to see with the naked eye because of the rising sun, depending on your horizon and what time you look. Try using steady binoculars to see both planets. If you bring out a telescope that can see the entire full moon comfortably in one eyepiece, you should be able to see both Venus and Mars together as well. On February 25th, the moon will reach apogee, which is the farthest point in the moon's orbit from the Earth. This doesn't mean much for observing, but the near full moon will appear slightly smaller than it usually does. If you're up for a little science experiment, you can use your cell phone camera to measure the difference between the February 25th apogee moon and the July 21st perigee moon. Perigee is the closest point to the Earth in the moon's orbit. You can see our description for details. Here is your lunar calendar for the month of February. The last quarter moon is on the 2nd. New moon is on the 9th. First quarter moon is on the 16th. And the full moon is on the 24th. That's all I have for this month. Thanks for joining me for the February 2024 Sky Report. I hope some of you decide to measure the moon this month, and I'll see you again in March.